Hey Pisces, uh, this is Soul, Intuitive uh, Tarot for Unique Souls. Welcome to my channel. Pisces, this is going to be your general weekly focus reading for the week of uh, March 21st through the 27th, 2016. Uh, before I begin your reading, Pisces, uh, keep in mind that these readings, <clears throat> and at least or these messages that come through, will resonate with some of you, but not all of you. So what I'm getting for some Pisces in this upcoming week relate to uh, the Hierophant in the uh, reverse position, the energy, uh, major arcana, major life events. So this is for some of you. I feel that your belief systems are going to be challenged. Uh, things that you've possibly held on to that were um, something like written in stone. Uh, may come to a challenge for you uh, this upcoming week. Also, with the uh, Hierophant in the uh, reverse position, it's all about feeling sort of like restricted. Uh, that might be restricted in terms of ideas or concepts or just, you know, feeling mentally restricted. Also, too, with this Hierophant showing up in, uh, in the reverse, there's a postponement of possibly a wedding or marriage also too I feel that some Pisces are dealing with earth sign individuals and particularly uh, Taurus that is uh, either presenting a challenge or this upcoming week will uh, be a challenge for you but the overall emphasis and the energy is uh, feeling restricted related to possible ideals and concepts and I just feel that some of your belief systems uh, are going to be challenged as well. What you thought was written in stone prior uh, to this upcoming week may be uh, challenging you. So it's not really bad energy. It all depends on um, what's going on in your current uh, situation. And like I said before, this is just a general reading. So uh, you can apply that to uh, any area that is close or significant to you. So family, relationships, uh, f you know, friendships, co-workers your job situation whatever uh, I just feel that there is just going to be belief system challenges for some Pisces this upcoming week and then some Pisces are dealing with a Taurus individual that's very challenging that, it, that it, Taurus could be your partner or the Taurus could be a friend it could be someone in the family and someone in the work environment. I just see that there's an issue going on with a Taurus, with some Pisces going on this upcoming week. All right, so <clears throat> recent past, yesterday going back to uh, two weeks. We have the death card, another major arcana, major life event. It's in the reverse. So there's two messages attached to this death card uh, in the reverse. So there's an overcoming. Uh, in terms of one message, there's an overcoming of a loss. Whatever that loss was <clears throat> for you um, yesterday, going back to two weeks, it's an overcoming of that loss. And then for the uh, second half of this message is a reluctance to release a loss. Or there was an ending or, or reluctance to release something that needs to be let go. And it's a holding on to that. So it could be. <sighs> All right. It could be an actual mourning of a passing of an individual uh, that was close to you. Now, I don't like to throw that in there because, I, you know, I came under fire before, uh, but I'm giving you what I get. So there's a hanging on to um, something that needs to be released or let go. And it could actually have been a physical passing of someone close to you. And this two week um, energy that I'm seeing is just possibly the mourning period uh, <clears throat> and then o others are overcoming some sort of release and let letting go of something that was close and significant to them so that's a very powerful uh, card there and it's in the reverse so I always see the death card is not really a you know a bad card I feel like it's an you know it, it's usually indicative of a closure closing of a chapter and then a start of a new chapter so it's like death and rebirth so to speak so there's this ending that took place for some Pisces in the last two weeks 
uh, and then there's a reluctance of not having to release something that was close or significant to you that which includes possibly uh, mourning the passing of someone close to you all right so the middle of the week oh you have three three major arcanas here uh, Pisces so there's some serious energy <clears throat> going on now we have the moon card in the reverse and I actually like this moon card in the reverse because it's overcoming some sort of um, some sort of depression I'm getting the depression I always relate the moon card uh, in the reverse with depression or oh, well whether it's in the reverse or not <clears throat> I always get that emphasis of somebody's dealing with some sort of uh, depression but since it is in the reverse it's an overcoming some sort of depression maybe the depression may be related to the uh, the loss or the release of something that was close or significant to you with the death card uh, being right next to it and also the uh, moon card represents you Pisces so <clears throat> so there's this energy of overcoming some sort of depression and then also too i feel that there was the moon also relates to secrecy so secrets may have been revealed and since it's in the reverse it's in the middle of the week maybe there's something that comes up uh for you that's revealed to you in terms of what you didn't know before uh but there's uh some sort of secret uh, if it was in the upright position the moon car was in the upright position pisces and that means there is a secret uh, <clears throat> still unknown to you but I'm feeling now it's in the reverse going into the middle of the week it may be discovered during this time or the emphasis is the uh, entire week it may not occur during the middle of the week it may be uh, attached to this death card or something something that you didn't know uh, came to light and it was revealed to you so it's some sort of uh secret i'm not saying dark secret it's just some sort of secret related to this moon card in the uh, middle of the week all right so the last card that i have for you pisces is the five of swords in the reverse so this is a, actually it's a pretty good week all depends on how you take it or you know how you take the messages but the five of swords is overcoming mental conflict and stress uh i do attach the fives in the reverse as a closing of uh, energy and a start of new energy so uh, there is a loss with the fives five of swords five of, uh, cups uh, pentacles uh, dealing with income five of cups dealing with love and emotions and the swords is just overcoming uh, some sort of conflict and, and mental stress now this could be uh, <clears throat> Everything related to the death card, the moon card, in terms of secrecy, releasing something that needs to let go, um, needs to be let go, and then the emphasis of possibly a mourning period, that stress, overcoming some sort of conflict. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time or emphasis on the connection with the swords and the uh, death card in the uh, reverse because it could take all not all day but it'll take up a lot of my time trying to explain the energy that I'm picking up with the swords and the death card especially with the moon so this is some high energy for Pisces this upcoming week it's not all bad it all depends on how you um, interpret the messages that I'm giving you <clears throat> all right so <clears throat> five of swords is overcoming conflict and mental stress possibly um, from others or it could have been you having at the tail end of the week having to uh, be able to come to the point of sorting out your mental mind or the stress that you were dealing with throughout the week and I see a relationship with that five of swords uh, related to air signs uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius so some Pisces are dealing with air sign energies. All right, so the energy of Oracle card that I have selected for you, uh, Pisces, is a woman holding the heart. So this is, um, I like this card when it shows up for a reading because it's, it's a couple of messages attached to this woman holding the heart. So this could be, you know, you, Pisces, male or female, doesn't matter. And 
for the reading that I just gave you in terms of the high energy that you have, you're still feeling good about yourself. Whatever you were dealing with or had to deal with or have to deal with, you're feeling good about yourself. So this is the woman holding the heart and she's feeling good emotionally. Also, this is a um, person that may be close to you, a sister, mother, uh, could be brother, you know, friend that is very supportive of you and non-judgmental. Uh, this person is um, ready to, you know, listen to whatever it is that you have to uh, say and then they're not going to finger point or whatever. They just take it in stride and uh, just be there to support you. This also could be a teacher, an educator. And the woman holding a heart also em emphasizes that for some Pisces who are single still, uh, this may be a potential week for you to connect with someone new. Uh, so this is related to meeting someone new in terms of love, male or female energy. So it's not a bad reading for Pisces uh, this upcoming week. It's just a lot of uh, high energy <clears throat> that I feel. Uh, and I like the way or I le at least I like the fact that the cards are in the reverse uh, for some. But anyway, this is your reading, Pisces. Thank you once again for visiting my channel. Uh, I do want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.